Well, good morning. We uh, started to kind of talk about this in a different video. But decided that we would go ahead and just address it directly in its own. I don't have any examples on here anymore. But we, uh, we caught uh, a fungal blight in our rose bush so it's pretty bare and the only cure to it is you got to take it out so we went through and we took all the leaves off oh here's a little we must have missed that's what it looks like it's not bird fertilizer or anything like that this is actually inside the leaf so we have about five that we need to take off here so all you do is you take it off and you have to look at the stem make sure it doesn't get into the stem itself if it does you have to cut it off at the first set but since we did that, we've, we're getting new growth. And this is a, a multiple, uh, a multi bloom rose. It's a heritage, it's very old. And it will put out three to four sets of roses each year. And we got our first one open. Now because of the blight, it's not gonna be as big a bloom this time, but on our third or fourth, it's gonna be all caught up and we'll get lots of them. And what all this is all about for us is right there. See the size of that? It's as big as my finger now. I got big hands. That's a rose hip. And inside are the seeds. You wait for it to turn brown, then you take it off. You take the seeds out because they'll choke you. And uh, you dry the, the outside, the shell. And then you powder it and you, you steep it in water for tea. And if you look on your herbal teas, you'll see that one of the biggest ingredients that they put in all of them is rose hips. And that's where it comes from. So we're looking forward to that harvest. We missed out on our first one because we didn't realize this was a multiple bloom. So they all fell off. But we'll get the second, third, and fourth. Be a cloud watcher.